Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing some very cool Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2 concept art brought to us by Ninjago series concept artist NM Severin over on Twitter. We've talked about their artwork before. They make a lot of really cool concept art for Ninjago, uh, you know, leading up to the various stages of production. So I will link their Twitter down below in the description. Feel free to give them a follow, see what else they're posting. They describe this piece as the following. This key visual was the final piece done in the Ninjago design team before we went to develop the final sets and Doc Wyatt, Kevin Burke, and Wildbrain took over and finalized their magic. So before the writing, before the sets were developed, there was this piece. There's a lot that's very different compared to the final product, but there are a lot of things that are similar. So without further ado, let's dive on deeper into this piece and start breaking it down. All right, so here is the piece in question. And I gotta say, just on first glance, this piece of concept art is very similar to what we ended up getting for Dragons Rising Season 2. At least it has a very similar aesthetic, a very similar feel, but of course there are a lot of differences. Now, according to the artist, this was done before the sets were actually developed and before they started writing the season itself. This was the final piece of concept art before production actually started, and like I said, we can see some similarities and some pretty major differences. Uh, first of all, on the ninja side of things, we have a couple of things to note. I think this might be the Temple of the Dragon cores back there. Uh, could very well be an early rendition of the Dragonstone Shrine as well. Maybe the Dragonstone Temple, more likely than not. Um, maybe something else entirely, though, that we haven't seen just yet. We also have some mechs going on here. Uh, one for Nia and one for Cole. Now, this is an early concept for the elemental mechs, and of course, they do have a lot of aspects that we saw from the finalized versions of the elemental mechs, including the combining of different parts. Uh, it seems as though Nia's mech has Cole's legs. Cole's mech has Nia's legs, uh, maybe one of her arms as well, as well as her weapon. Um, but yeah, Nia was originally going to get an elemental mech, at least according to this concept art. Uh, kind of interesting. We don't have an elemental mech for Kai then, aside from the climber mech, but that doesn't really count, right? But instead we have one for Nia. Yeah, interesting. Would have liked to have seen maybe an elemental water mech for Nia. We need more like Nia uh, sets just in general, in my opinion. And Cole's mech is not as orange as the final rendition was actually so I guess that's kind of cool just showing how far the concept of the elemental mechs has come next we get to the climber mech which honestly looks extremely similar to uh, the <laughs> to the final product here the shaping is generally similar the forearms are there the, the the knees look the exact same the ankles they even bend the same way that they do on the set so yeah very cool that they were able to capture a lot of this design for the actual set itself we also have just going up a little but we have Aaron and Ryu right here, at least I believe this to be Aaron and Ryu, uh, who else would it be, right? Aaron very much has a climber design here. Uh, his mask is a little bit different, he does have like a headband, hairpiece combo, which would be nice to see for Aaron officially someday. Maybe they should have done that for the upcoming tournament designs. Uh, but you know what? Climber Aaron did exist at one point. I wonder why they decided to not actually give Aaron a climber suit for the final version of Dragon's Rising Season 2. Ryu looks a little bit more ferocious in this image. Uh, not as cutesy as the finalized teenage design actually is. Uh, but you know what? It is what it is. I do like this design overall. Maybe for another dragon at some point down the line. Moving on down to the bottom of the image though we have ourselves an early look at what climber kai might have looked like very similar to the final design for example all of the ropes uh, the chains, the grapples, all of that is still here. His mask is red and black instead of just being red and dark red. Uh, interesting to note there. And also his symbol would appear on the top of the mask in early stages of development. I kind of like it just clean red though. I do like the final design for Climber Kai more than this design, but I don't mind what I see here. Uh, I do think it's weird having one black glove and one yellow hand. I never liked when they did stuff like that. Not just for Ninjago, but for other Lego themes in general. I would like things to be as uh, symmetrical as possible. And Kai does have this long rope here with, a, with, with an early version of uh, the dragon uh, grapples that we saw from the actual 
Dragons Rising Season 2 series and sets. I like how that looks overall too. Um, definitely not too bad. Then we move on to Sora down here. Sora looks really uh, interesting here. Again, Climber Sora with chains and, uh, and ropes and stuff. Come on, we couldn't get Climber Sora finalized. We have Climber Sora and Climber Eren in this concept piece, but not in the actual show. Kind of disappointing. But as you can see, Sora is riding one of those dragon flyer things, those dragon strikers, whatever they're called, the gimmick sets for the uh, 2024 first wave. Not great in terms of toys, but I do like how it looks here in the concept stage. I wonder if that was going to be like an extension of Kai's firepower, or if this was originally a Sora creation. It's hard to say. It could have just been done up just for the concept art as well. Uh, moving on down to the wolf side of things though, now that we've gotten the ninja side taken care of, the wolf side of things has a lot going on too. Let's start down here. Uh, these three characters, this could very well be our first look at maybe what Lord Rass might have looked like. The only reason why I say this could be Lord Rass and not just a generic wolf guy is because these guys up here are generic wolf guys right more on this guy here in a second this guy looks crazy um but going on to uh this guy this could be lord rast like an early version of him these two characters uh <laughs> jordana and cinder possibly uh I, I will say maybe slight spoiler warning for dragons rising season two uh in three two one this being jordana makes a lot of sense because jordana is practicing magic now in dragons rising season two so this being like a proto sorceress jordana i could totally see that being the case jordana here looks more magical and i guess kind of scary compared to what you know compared to how she looks in the show but maybe this is how she will end up one day who's to say especially after that ending if you know you know uh but jordana has a bunch of knives here floating about the original cinder looks interesting now, I assume this to be the original Cinder. This looks like it could be a Smoke Master, uh, very similar to how we see Cinder in the show. He's got this interesting looking weapon here, and he does have that ghost tail uh, with the gray uh, smoke effect going through it. Now, we will see something similar to that in the summertime sets for Cinder, so I guess that's kind of cool, seeing that transition from concept art to an actual final product. And also, Cinder here, I like his outfit. I mean... Looks cool. I, I think I think it looks really great. Wouldn't mind seeing something like this for Cinder again one day. Moving on up to some of these other guys, though, we have an early rendition of the Gong of Shattering looking very similar to how it appears in the final show. Uh, this guy looks interesting. Kind of reminds me of my um, uh, fan-made Ninjago movie script that I wrote a few years ago. I had a hulking wolf villain that in my mind looked very similar to this. So that's kind of like jarring to see something similar in real Ninjago stuff. Uh, very, very cool design here. I like this design quite a bit. Probably would have been like a big fig uh, in the sets, maybe like a larger, more brutish member of the wolf mask army, or maybe this could have been Lord Rass himself. Maybe this is what Lord Rass might have looked like. Maybe the other guy over here truly is a generic wolf guy and this guy is what Lord Rass would have looked like. I don't know. To me this just kind of screams like giant grunt, you know. We've seen that with other villain armies before like the Sons of Garmadon, the Vermilion, so would not surprise me. We also have ourselves an early version of the Shadow Dojo up here, looking very similar to how it appears in the final rendition. Uh not really the Blood Moon up there though. That's more like another gong. Um or maybe that is trying to be like a blood moon, who knows? There's also no giant wolf head up front, so clearly that was a change made later. We also have a generic wolf guy here, as well as a bunch of wolf mask guys here. I will say, this right here kind of looks like it could have been the wolf head that was attached to the temple. Maybe instead of it being on the temple, it was more so the mountain in which the temple was constructed. But of course, making this whole thing into a set was probably easier said than done, so I can see why they might have moved the wolf head to the actual temple itself. Uh, but overall, guys, I'm really looking forward to seeing more concept pieces for Dragon's Rising Season 2 because this one is insane and it's crazy to see how different things are to the final product and just how similar things are as well. Uh, overall, very cool piece. Um, once again, I will leave a link to the artist's Twitter account down below in the description. Feel free to check it out if you feel so inclined and feel free to leave all of your thoughts down below in the comments regarding this concept piece. What do you 
you think about it and what do you like here compared to the final season or vice versa what do you think the final season does better as opposed to this concept art leave all your thoughts down below in the comments and thank you so much for watching that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here if you guys enjoyed today's video feel free to like and subscribe do all that fun stuff and i will talk to you guys again very very soon peace